But everything, in my opinion, is a relationship. Whether it's a husband and wife, a student and a teacher, a client and an artist, what it requires and what it needs to flourish is dedication on my part and him being here to accept me as a client and even more so as a friend. The more interaction there is, the more magic that is created. When all is said and done, I think the experiences that we've had together, they're hard to top. I'm very grateful that a certain individual still has the same enthusiasm and need to be part of something. I finally saw Mark Osuna and Manny out in Atlanta with Hoser over 15 years ago. And man, I've not seen something so beautiful. That work is just, I never knew it existed, bro. I've already worked at a tattoo shop. A lot of it was free. But at that exact moment, I decided I'll never get another piece of work until it's by Hoser. And next year, he came back to the convention and had my deposit ready, and I waited. You know, it's very difficult to explain in words that journey that has taken place. Those were the crazy days. When I look at his work, I remember every single session motivating him to come out here and make the connection. Perhaps it was the best move ever because out of that, beautiful friendship you know, has, has evolved. We can plan as much as we want, but if everything changes. One day you make a choice of getting something, and the day of the tattoo, something pops in your mind. And there's a certain beauty within that, you know, like spontaneity. I'm learning to be more flexible. This process in general with Hoser, the idea of being very flexible and open-mindedness makes it a lot easier. I want Hoser to do about 90% of my whole body, from my head to my neck, both my arms, front, back, one whole leg sleeve. So I don't have a time frame on this journey. The biggest thing for me is patience. I need more of that in life with me, my relationships and all of my family, with everybody. People always want to get their work done as fast as possible. I feel like a lot of times people are disappointed because things don't work out. But I truly believe that tattoos, they happen when they're supposed to happen. Even in life, I guess you should long for the best things, best memories, the best experiences, and work towards achieving them. But learning to slow time down, slow your need for those things, you know, and wait for them to come when the day is perfect. I've always been an instant gratification person all my life, but I don't ever rush the process, man. It's a journey, and I love the journey, so why in the world would I want to rush it, bro? I want to get as much time out of this as I can. It is a painful process, but uh, nothing that is not worth it. I wouldn't do that to you, bro. You are my friend. <laughs> and for the conversation, the tattoo is just complimentary. What I keep coming back for is for that connection and to see the guys in general who I've come to consider my family. For me, tattooing, it's a little difficult sometimes, but that becomes part of the experience. I've worked on many different people in many different situations. And I, I want to say, you know, me, it's perhaps one of the, the best clients, you know, that in the last decade has become like a brother. The more I think of it, the more grateful and thankful I am. And I, I really believe some of our best times are still ahead of us. I love you, bro. Man, my, my pops died when I was, you know, 18. I, I didn't get to really see him until, you know, I haven't seen him eight years before that. But uh, there's not a word that I can put in say my gratitude towards you, but I'll just say thank you so much. You know, that's about it. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Thank you.